What's up, champions fam? It's Zeke Forno back at a brand new WWE Champions video. For the longest time within the community, everybody was wondering, when are the APA going to become an official tag team and get a proper tag link? And you know what? Patience is truly a virtue. It has been a while since the uh, debut of Attitude Era Striker Farouk, but since his launch, Everybody was just wondering, where in the world is Bradshaw and when is he going to show up? Now, it appears that there were some issues on WWE's side of things pertaining to their relationship with um, JBL, but it seems that those things were properly resolved when we got the return of Attitude Era trickster Justin Hawk Bradshaw, who came back with a vengeance and is now one of the best tricksters in the game. But there was still a piece of the puzzle missing. We needed Acolyte's Protection Agency, Justin Bradshaw. And this past weekend, alongside a Super Showdown scrimmage, brand new limited time tour, mega superstar loot, and solo and faction contest, our prayers were finally answered. And it is official. The APA are in the game. And they have one of the best tag links in the meta right now. 5 MP reduction that can be stacked with the MP reduction perks that we can always invest in every single MLC. And he has a very interesting story because when he first debuted, let's be real, everybody looked at his moveset, looked at his builds, and straight, uh, straight up thought he was Bootios, one of the worst characters in the game. He had an amazing, incredible trainer and coaching ability, allowing the generation of blast gems to be uh, to be done, which is a good uh, good salute for the simple fact that Rusev is no longer going to be able to be available in the game to be pulled. So you replace Rusev with this brand new Bradshaw. But then on top of that, with the tag link, that made him viable utility wise. However, champions listen to the people and they acted fast because as soon as they got word, they went back heard the feedback and they went ahead and gave him a couple of buffs he got a plus 40k move damage boost for each of his moves they changed the big boot to a choose yellow move which was initially random and he got additional trainer uh trainer um tier abilities at 13k blast gems do 100 more damage and at 15k Red gems do 25% more damage, let alone him allowing you to generate more blast gems. So a guy like Earthquake, especially with his gear, is going to be a monster moving forward. And even our MLC free-to-play champion for wild ones, Sika, is going to dominate with this guy equipped to him. And this has been a fun MLC so far pretty strong now there were some issues and some bugs but they got properly resolved we had people missing their daily blitz tickets for Sika but that got uh, that got taken care of but we had another run at showdowns and you already know what it is get in get your notoriety up get as many coins as you can get in and get out get as many milestones as you possibly can acquire depending on the bonus superstars that you have as well as the offers on the portal if you're able to access that but it was a good grind it's always worth it showdown has been been on a redemption story it took a real bad plummet there were some issues still when it comes to the um cut off for um showdown coins and uh, and whatnot but at the end of the day i think things ran pretty smoothly because from what i saw on both occasions both um day one and day two people were able to ma max out their um their coins so that's always good to get your additional 15k let alone once the reset happened you were able to cash in if you would chose to that helped out with milestones on top of everything else so this showdown was definitely fun it was i enjoyed it to say the least i didn't even really invest in any perks for um showdown yet i haven't done anything and i was able to get very pretty far with it and the cool thing about this is is that ultimately when it comes to this game it can be pretty RNG. I saw that a lot of players got blessed, got absolutely blessed when it came to mega superstar pools, getting um, Bradshaw. And I also seen a lot of people clear out not only the faction contest, which was a breeze, but also the solo contest. And all those resources that were up for grabs is always going to make things worth it. Now, there was also an interesting th a case here that I saw for a lot of people too, because I saw people pull 
um, uh, Bradshaw from the Mega Superstar pulls, but I also saw a lot of players pull him from the milestones from the solo contest because you had chances at getting his card and you also had opportunities of getting shards for him alongside other things. So depending on who you had on your roster, you know, would dictate how far you could go and then you just even it out with pulls to, you know, to make up the difference depending on who you are, right? So when it came to this contest, I did my normal grind, but there was some one more milestone I got I got, had to get to. I think it was the eight at the eight million mark because I got up to the seven mil, but it was then up to the get to the eight mil. I wanted to get the legendary strap, the legendary strap milestone. That's the best way to put it for Shobo. That's the one that I wanted to get to. I wanted to pick up some coins. I wanted to just see what I could get. I wanted to get to get as close as I could. I did as much as I could, and I even grinded out normal showdown mode. So. At the end of the day, I had to make a move. So I ended up going ahead and enhancing my Farouk. I pulled him at three-star bronze, and I finally just took him up to three-star gold to close this out and hope that I could hit the final milestone, all right? Hoping for the best because it, it's, it was just worth a shot. You always try to go in. And lo and behold, we got him, y'all. We pulled Bradshaw at four-star silver on the last milestone we could reach. God is good, y'all. Like, my luck has been hit and miss, and it's been a while since I've actually pulled somebody a brand new card out of the milestones. Seeing Benny get the Benny, uh, get Boogeyman was pretty dope, and I saw a lot of a lot of my faction mates, my faction fam of Phoenix Rises, walking away with um uh, walking away with um Bradshaw too, one way or the other. But I ultimately wanted this milestone just to get the get the strap, hoping that okay maybe I get a legendary um a legend strap for my slick Rick. I put it on there, boom, I'm done, or hold it off for somebody else, a new character. And next thing you know, I I, I enhance Farouk from three star silver to three star gold. I hit the milestone, I pop it. There's lag, and then I look down in the bottom corner, and I'm just left speechless. The last time I pulled a character like this was Ultimate Warrior, Masters of the WWE Universe. And then beforehand was the awesome situation with um, um, Woke and Matt Hardy picking him up out of a bag. And before him was Rated R Superstar Edge. So I like moments like this because you can pick up a character that's pretty amazing, absolutely free. And that's what I'm grateful for about this is like the only money I spent was literally three bucks on one pull, one single pull on the banner so I can get some points. Outside of that, everything else came from me grinding out showdown and just putting in the work and, 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 and investing in my roster. I took up Lacey Evans to finally the four star bronze, got her to 9k. And then I went ahead and worked on Farouk and everything just worked out in the end. I was surprised when I saw this card and I was just in awe when I went to my roster and I just had to keep taking screenshots because it's so RNG and sometimes you get mad because you see so many people pull, uh, pulling a character and then other times you're, you know, when it hits you, you're just in to total shock and this was just an absolute amazing surprise. Incredible, incredible character, especially after getting re uh, reworked. This is dope. And I seem to have a thing for showboats when it comes to showdown because I was able to get the th uh, the four-star gold fuse for Junkyard Dog. Then I was able to get uh, able to get um, Ultimate Warrior. And now I've gotten uh, Justin Bradshaw. And I can now officially run the APA with that MP reduction in showdowns that can be stacked with those perks. This is going to help out with clearing so much tag team action uh, with dealing with husbandos moving forward and i'm i'm grateful i couldn't ask for more this was this was a good way to close out the weekend definitely but let me know y'all thoughts in the comments below when it came to this showdown weekend also what was your luck were you able to pull bradshaw what star rare did you get did you get him at because i was actually in shock when i pulled him at four star silver did not expect to pull him at four star silver I, I unlocked a, a Motu Warrior at four star bronze, the four star gold fuse for for Junkyard Dog, and now we got a four star silver here. So with that being said, y'all, hey yo, 
Bad times don't last, but champions do. Mad love always and forevermore to each and every single one of you of my beloved hashtag champions fam. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to receive all future notifications from your truly the bad guy at WWE champions, Zeke 410. And until next time, let's chop it up within the comments below. But this was truly a blessing in disguise, and I'm grateful for this opportunity to pick up a card. Now that I have Rusev and Bradshaw, this is just going to take things to another level. This also makes uh, makes Goldberg more dangerous, too. This is just a good look. Um, Bradshaw alongside Rey Mysterio or Typhoon, that's just going to be a nightmare for a whole bunch of people moving forward in the game. And this tag team, is just absolutely deadly. It was worth the, the the days of grinding. And to think that initially, all he was worth was his trainer and coaching ability for Blast Gems. Now his Blast Gems are going to also be doing 100% more, da uh, more damage aside from being ge generated. And Red Gems are going to be dealing 25%. That's a triple stack ability. That is, that is OP busted. And then the MP reduction tag link with Farouk. It's just going to make showdowns a lot more interesting from the Bushwhackers with gem reduction to now MP reduction. Who knows what is next? Possibly move to move damage reduction. Here's looking at you, Montez Ford and Dawkins. The sky's the limit here. The sky is the limit for sure, but it feels good to see the boys back together and back to being open for business. So until next time, y'all. Stay tuned and let me know how everything went for you this past weekend. Peace.